Howdy, how's it going? My name's Davy Chappie, and today it's time to make all your DMs rip their handbooks up in a bitter rage, because we're gonna be talking about the Divination School of Magic. I'm gonna go over the basic concept of divination and rate every spell in the school on Davy's Davy Meter. As always, keep in mind that most of this video is just my opinion, so if you see angry messages in my future, feel free to leave a comment down below. But with that out of the way, let's begin. So, divination is the school of seeing into the future and knowing just how much of a screw-up you're gonna be when you're older. With the power of divination, you can keep your allies safe from unknowable traps tragedies. You can cheat at gambling, and you can make your DM burn with the rage of a thousand fire newts, as they have to throw away their carefully laid plot because SOMEBODY looked into the future and saw the DM's totally super awesome twist Jared from math class! So, be careful about asking questions that are too risky, and talk to your DM if you have a prophetic vision lasting more than four hours. But, let's get right into the spells, starting with CANTRIPS! Guidance. In combat, this spell will never be used. Out of combat, it can and should be used over and over because it is really handy and it's a cantrip. True Strike. This is undoubtedly the worst spell in the game. Instead of using the spell, just attack twice. I guarantee you better results. FIRST LEVEL! Beast Bond. It's a decent scouting spell, but the combat usage is probably not gonna happen often. Comprehend Languages. Thanks to this spell, I've avoided so many betrayals from idiots who talk about their evil plans right in front of me. Detect Evil and Good. If any of the things listed here are within 30 feet of you, you probably already know where they are. Detect Magic. Unlike the last spell, magic is usually way more likely to be hidden until it's too late, so use this spell to make sure you don't get turned into a noob. Detect poison and disease. Do you know how often I am exposed to poisons and or diseases? Not often enough to prepare, much less use, a dedicated spell for it. Hunter's Mark. This should be a ranger ability, not a spell. That being said, as a spell, it's pretty great because it usually lasts the entire encounter and all of that bonus damage will really add up. Identify. This is the spell that does all the things that people who take up the arcane skill think that they have. I also like that it's a ritual, so the 100 gold investment is usually totally worth it. Speak with animals. I swear I didn't see nothing. This talking capybara ain't no snitch, bub. Okay, I'll talk. SECOND LEVEL! Augury. I absolutely love flavorful spells like this. Nothing is cooler than asking the spirits if attacking the basic goblin camp is a good idea, only for the spirits to be like, um, no. No, do, do not do that. Beast Sense. I really hope that you can carry a sack of raccoons around with you so that you can actually use the spell. Detect Thoughts. No one will ever know that I find the barbarian attractive. Find Traps. What do you even need a rogue for if you're just gonna wave your hands around and see every spike trap that I put down? Locate animals or plants. I mean, it's a ritual, so I guess that's cool. I just, I don't know when you're going to need a certain plant so badly that you're gonna spend a second level spell slot to take it. Locate Object. Oh my god. Guys! Guys! I found the other sock! Mind Spike. Holy crap, the spell is useful. It's like a tracker made of pain that just burrows into your mind and stays there for a full hour. That's actually sort of terrifying. See invisibility. If it's a creature, just use Mind Spike. If it's an object, Mind Spike it anyway. Even objects must learn to fear you. Third level! Clairvoyance, the iconic spying spell. Sometimes useful for you, always useful for the bad guy. Tongues, very useful for diplomatic encounters. I do wish it was second level though. Fourth level! Arcane Eye. This is the more active version of Clairvoyance that, as a player, you're actually likely to use. Divination. Much like Augury, this spell is the ultimate life insurance, and any divination wizard that isn't taking the divination spell known as divination, well, I just don't know what to tell you. It's only 25 gold. Pay up, kid. Locate creature. How are you so good at Where's Waldo? Uh, I don't know, man. I guess God just loves me more than you. Fifth level! Commune. This spell might do better on the same spell level as divination or augury, but it's still a dope spell that I'd use whenever I needed help. Commune with nature. It's actually really, really useful to see literally everything within three miles of you, but your DM is going to strangle you once they realize that they actually have to describe all of it. Contact other plane. Ah, yes. Cast a spell with a huge backlash if you can't concentrate enough to commune with a creature that has no compulsion to tell the truth, using a spell slot that could be used to ask something, I don't know, way more trustworthy? Legend lore. Way back in days of old, there was a legend told about a hero known as Galavant. Rary's telepathic bond. Semi-useful, but there are easier ways to communicate with one or two party members if they're gonna scout, and I can't imagine much reason for literally the entire party to split up. Scrying. Finding out the villain's plans has never been easier. Keep in mind that DMs will hate you for the spell. Sixth level! Find the path. This spell is a sixth level spell. This spell is not useful enough to be a sixth level spell. True seeing. This spell lets you see through almost anything, and yet you still won't see all those natural ones coming. Seventh level! Wait. What? Uh, uh, the uh, eighth level! What? What do you mean, nothing? Ninth level! Foresight. You get the better result of literally everything for eight full hours, and it isn't concentration, so you can just continue doing literally anything you want. The only reason why it gets a two is because, as a ninth level spell, it has to contend with spells like True Polymorph and Wish, against which it just doesn't stand a chance. But that'll about do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and comment if you did, subscribe if you want to be a cool dude, and maybe support me on Patreon so that I can slowly make my entire life revolve around D&D. Also, if you want to stay up to date on all of your Davy news, I keep a link to my social media in the description below. But yeah, Davy out.